Okay, this is uh, Brad Carr with Greg Bartley, Lynx Enterprises. We have a metal stand out here today, and we have about a half of an inch of grease. We have some mineral spirits mixed in with the grease, and our objective today is to um, uh, demonstrate our Lynx aqueous film forming foam fire suppressant type product. Uh, what we're going to do is light the grease and get it burning and then we have a foamer, a portable foamer with our aqueous film forming foam product in there. Greg, if you could turn that on and just show us how the foam, we're going to foam around the outside of this before we get started. So go ahead, Greg, turn it on. And we've put some of the foam down out around the outside of the, uh, just to kind of act as an additional fire suppressant uh, when we get this fired up and get it going. And then once we get the uh, fire going, we're going to use a flare to light the grease. And once we get that going and uh, lit, uh, then we're going to just use the fire suppressant. We're going to let it burn for just a little bit. And then we're going to turn right around and put it out with the fire suppressant. So that is the game plan. Greg is lighting a flame, uh, a flare. And... Uh, we're going to light the grease here and see what happens. Be careful. Stay back here and see if we can get this burning. Obviously, grease will start to burn once it gets going. Okay, we're going to set the flare back down. Go ahead, Greg. We're going to fire up the aqueous film forming foam. And suppress the fire. Now, we're going to attempt to take the flare again and show it as a, a retardant then come back over the top of it to say can we relight this once it has the foam back down on top of it because there is some applications where there's welding or cutting that ends up taking place and as a slag or um, uh, different cutting materials you know from weld and that and I think as the foam obviously puts a layer or a coating back over the top of it. The heat obviously will dissipate some of that right where it's taking place, but it then acts as a uh, further suppressant in that um, surrounding area where the heat's not to it uh, to help uh, obviously um, not have any additional flame or, or uh, ignition take place. Pull that back a second, Greg. Are we getting some burn right there in that particular area? And then it's turned around and go back out. Go ahead and hit it one more time here. Mm 
I know the flare is getting kind of short. Are you getting a little burn right in that area? A little bit of burn and then it's gone right back out. So that's where the aqueous film forming foam acts as a suppressant. And that's our demonstration today. Thank you very much.